y'all. Today I wanted to open up the Unplugged Book Box Little Nightmare Special Edition because I absolutely love Halloween, but I'm like the biggest movie ever. I can't do scary movies or scary books. Nope, nope, nope. So this year they said that they were going to do the Little Nightmares, which is not exactly their horror box because they do have a horror box open, but they opened this up for those of us who love the season but cannot handle the spooky. So let's get into it. such a struggle not to just like go ahead and open it. This is the first box that I have ordered to be delivered and because yeah, Halloween, gotta have it, love it. And so we'll see how this goes. We have our spoiler card that I don't want to look at yet and yeah, spoilers. <laughs> and lots of black squiggles this month. grabbing just like the first big box that's a little bit pushed in. Instructions. Creates instructions. Mm. Interesting. The box says it is a black teardrop oil warmer. Oh, so like incense oil. Right now we're doing wax melts, but we might do oil. Property of a bad witch. And it's a cat. And a black kitty. What witch doesn't need her black kitty? Underneath the squiggles, we have a Beetlejuice pouch. Great size for purses, bags. Not quite big enough to be a book pouch, but nice to put like makeups, wallets, hand sanitizers, the stuff that gets lost in your bottom of your purse pretty much. <gasps> the Sanderson Sisters Black Flame Candle Company, Candles and Curiosities, established 1693 for Hocus Pocus. Focus, focus. Halloween tradition, pretty much all of our lives. <gasps> Let your spark start a flame. With of course matches, which mm -hmm. this sounds super familiar, and I should totally know what it's from. But do I know? No, I don't. Maybe this is our author signed book plate. And a cute little postcard from Unplugged. And an adorable little tote. With another picture. Okay, books. Really know what that's from. I'm running out of places to sit things though. <laughs> we will work on the, the, the location video situation. Mm -hmm. Oh, this tastes so good. We have Old Salem Apothecary, two little tea candles that would go great in our oil burner. It will fit right in there at the bottom. Uh, 
and they even give you soy wax melts to go in it. That okay. So it says morbid romance, soy wax melts. The intriguing aroma of Gomez and Morticia's love. And it looks like they might be little tombstones. I can't get them out. Mm -hmm. It smells almost like gum, like bubble yum gum. Yeah, but they are their little tombstones, and they all seem they are all different. All of them say rip, but they are all little different designs on them. The stone tombstones. Mm -hmm. And more little wax melts that are cocoa inspired. So remember me. Yep. That movie can get you in the feels. And now, oh, wait, we have the book. And we have a little bookmark. It says, other than Halloween, do you know what ghosts enjoy most? Books. <laughs> Cheesy humor. Mm -hmm. This book is wrapped in beautiful spiderweb paper. Plastic. Plastic. Okay. Okay. So if I cut over here, it'll open and not damage my book. If I damage my book, I will cry. Ooh, a paperback too. I wasn't sure if it was going to be paperback or hardback. The edition from the Little Nightmares books is the X Hex by Erin Sterling. The line for this book is Never Mix Vodka and Witchcraft. This book is centered around Vivian Jones, who nine years ago nursed her broken heart like any witch would. Vodka, weepy music, bubble baths, and of course, a horrible boyfriend. Well, horrible boyfriends do, you know, tend to break hearts. This makes strict sense. Uh, so, based off the title, I think, of course, she curses horrible boyfriend, finds, you know, hatred of men, coming back around to, of course, now there is a new man who, good or bad, we will find out. I don't want to read too much about it, give too much away. This way, it's fun to read, and, you know, I don't pick up on the ending from the beginning. <laughs> but I kind of suspected this might be the book just from the summary when I ordered the box. Ever since I ordered this box, all of a sudden I've been seeing this book marketed everywhere. So, we'll definitely get to reading this probably at the end of this week or early next week as soon as I finish The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black, which I'm currently reading. I adore her writing, all of the Folk of Air series, the modern fairy tales. This is just the one that I hadn't read of her fairy series. I am also probably going to get into the next one, but other videos, other topics. Let's sit this right here because we need to show off the lovely book. So from the spoiler card to get to the items that I possibly did not know where they were from, like several of them. All right, the spoiler card says we have our Hocus Pocus tumbler with no contact keychain. Oh, right. We have been coming out with a bunch of these during the pandemic because who wants to touch gross things? Yes, yes. Beetlejuice reusable sandwich and snack bag. Uh oh, it is a sandwich bag. I'm not sure that I would put, you know, unwrapped food in here myself because cats, cat hair, children. Dirty, dirty creatures. <laughs> uh, spirited away tote bag. That, of course it is. 
our Spirited Away tote bag. Coraline spatula. Please show everything because that's what we're gonna do. Um, the Coco and Adam's family wax melts with the witch's cauldron. So this, this is a witch's cauldron. It's a very interesting shaped cauldron. I, I would not have called that a cauldron myself, but okay. Still neat. And inner magic matches with Salem tea light candles. Okay, so this and the tea candles were supposed to together, not the tea candles and the wax melty thing. And inner magic matches. I'm going to have to look up what inner magic is now because I feel like that is also something that is a book. Okay. And our, our little nightmares bookmark with its adorable drawings of a skeleton and a pumpkin flower. Oh, and candy corn. Because we love candy corn. And of course, the book, The X Hex. Okay guys, I'm going to have to like look this up because the spoiler card actually says The X-Hex by Rachel Hawkins. And the book says The X-Hex by Aaron Sterling. And it has her picture on the back. And I'm pretty sure that her name is the one that I've been seeing when I see this book advertised in other places. So... Mm-hmm. We're going to look that up, and we're going to wonder why that happened, because they have editors. Well, guys, this is it for our first unboxing, and I think I do adore this little box. It came with so many cute goodies, another cup for my water, because I love, and I need cups with tops because I spill things, because I'm five. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys.